Hey there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about $10,000 a day affiliate campaigns. Can you make $10,000 a day with one campaign? I say yes, I have done it myself, it happens. In fact, I've done more than $10,000 a day and I know people constantly, every single day I talk to in the circles that are doing this as well. So what does it take? What do you need to do? What are the logistics behind making $10,000 a day from one single campaign? Now let's be real here, okay? I'm not gonna go in and show you an actual campaign, the settings, the offer, all that stuff. If that's what you're looking for, it doesn't exist on YouTube, but if you find it, best of luck, and I hope you do, in fact, find it, but um, let me just tell you that this video will help you understand what it actually takes and what the reality is behind these giant campaigns that we are all hunting for. Everybody is hunting for the giant campaign that is going to change their lives. We're constantly on the lookout for these giant campaigns. Trust me, this is possible. And I'm gonna show you what it takes, what kind of offers work, what kind of traffic sources, and what you really need to consider logistically to make this possible for you, okay? So if you like this type of video, like, subscribe, comment, click the little bell icon, and let's get into it right now. So I'm not gonna get into some flimsy method that's gonna show you, you know, some kind of ad that's gonna work because it's just not, something that you need to consider here. What you need to know is you need to understand that the types of offers that work, the types of traffic sources, what kind of math is involved here to make these campaigns work. We're always on the hunt for these giants because they are life-changing. Um, there's nothing better than refreshing your screen and seeing, you know, $1,000 being made within an hour, okay? This is great, we love it, and that's what we're always on the lookout for, um, at least in affiliate marketing. So. What does it take? Let's talk about the math. And first we're gonna talk about earnings per click, okay? So earnings per click is a metric that we talk about um, and it's what the offer basically pays you per click when you get a click to the offer, okay? So we see this on many networks. What are we earning? So one, I'm gonna use an example here today. It's gonna to be auto insurance, okay? So auto insurance is an offer that I'm running and currently making $2 per click when I get somebody to click through the offer. So in order to make $10,000 a day, I need to get 5,000 clicks to this offer, okay? I can't just direct link and think I'm gonna make a ton of money. I need to use a pre-sell, so I need to get 5,000 people to click off of a pre-sell. My landing page is typically 25% or more click-through rate, okay? So with that in mind, then I need to get 20,000 people to my landing page every single day in order to get the 5,000 clicks that I need to get my $10,000 in revenue, okay? So you can see how the math is working here. So what I need is a traffic source that allows me to create a campaign where I can get 20,000 qualified clicks every single day. And there's only so many traffic sources out there that can do that, okay? So let's first talk about the offer. So as you can see, the payout on the offer when I'm using this type of math doesn't really matter. The uh, Many newbies come in and they think the payout is what matters, but I've ran auto insurance offers that pay me $20, or I've run some that pay me $10, but the $10 one gives me better EPC. And it all comes down to where they convert in the back end, okay? So there's a whole bunch to that I'm not gonna talk about now because I don't wanna waste your time. But basically, remember, earnings per click, your earnings per click is what matters, not the network earning per click. It's what happens after they click through your landing page and go to the offer and how much you earn every single click. So now let's talk about the offer quickly and some of the key things you need to consider about the offer you're going to run if you think you're going to make $10,000 a day. First, you need to have an offer that has mass appeal and broad targeting, okay? So what I mean is auto insurance, for example. Consider auto insurance, pretty much half the population in the United States probably has a car, meaning they probably have insurance. So that's about 165 million people. That's mass appeal. If we consider woodworking, or something like that, you're talking a very, very slim margin of people that are actually into woodworking, let alone who are gonna go buy a product about woodworking on the internet. So you really need an offer with mass appeal. I do a lot of lead generation types of offers that work well, but another thing you need to consider about your offer is the ability for you to get a lot of cap. In order to make $10,000 a day from this offer, 
the offer owner needs to be able to allow you to spend $10,000 a day or it needs to have a budget of $10,000 a day. But consider the fact that you are going to be competing with a lot of affiliates who also want this offer and the offer owner only has so much cap, okay? So cap means you're only allowed to run a certain amount of traffic to that offer each day and then you have to stop and then you have to switch to another offer and so you need multiple offers in order to do this if you don't have a lot of cap. That brings us to the next thing. If you're going to be running one offer from one network or from one offer owner, you're kind of putting all your eggs in one basket, okay? This is really risky, especially if you're running $10,000 a day and you're only getting paid every week or weekly net five. That means you need to put up roughly $120,000 a week um, because you're only getting paid every 12 days, we'll say, or nine days, whatever it is. But you can factor in that every day is $10,000. If you're, if you're not able to risk that money, not being paid back to you, then this isn't for you, okay? If you don't have the ability to spend this money, to spend say $5,000 or more a day on traffic, then this isn't going to work for you, okay? So you need to have the capital available and you need to spread your risk between multiple offer owners or at least multiple networks if you want to, you know, kind of protect from not being paid because we've all heard about the horror stories of, you know, networks owing somebody, you know, a 90 to 150 grand or even sometimes millions. And if those people don't pay you, then obviously you're gonna be out some money. You need to have a credit card that's going to be able to spend $5,000 a day or more but really, if it only has a $5,000 a day limit, it's not gonna work because you have to pay 5,000 for your traffic, then pay the credit card off, wait a day for it to hit or whatever it is. You need at least 15 to $25,000 a day in credit on your credit card to make this work. Next, you need to consider the offer restrictions. Are you allowed to run it in, in all of the countries or are you allowed to run it in just certain states? That's gonna be a big factor when it comes to actually targeting and setting up your ads. Okay, so you want offers that have broader targeting and, and also allow you to use the big traffic giants like Facebook, Google, Display, um, native ads. If they, if they don't allow you to do that, then you're, not probably going, you're probably not going to be able to make this amount of money every single day unless you have a massive email list or you have a massive amount of traffic coming into your website through search engine optimization or other traffic sources, okay? So that brings us into traffic. What do you need from a traffic source to be able to make $10,000 a day? You need massive amounts of users. Who are the traffic sources that have the biggest amount of users? Well, they're quite obvious. Facebook, we have Google, we have native ad platforms like Taboola, Outbrain, um, we have Snap Ads, Pinterest has a lot of users. You need millions and millions and millions, billions preferably of users so that you can target a bunch of people with an offer that has mass appeal, okay? So that's the key here. You also need the ability to spend on this platform. Many times you go into Facebook and you try and spend five grand in your first day, you're gonna be banned instantly. You need to warm up your account, you need to have the ability to spend a lot of money on that account, so you're going to need a rep or you're going to need multiple accounts. Google's a bit different. Um, for some people, you can just go in there and start spending massive amounts of money, that's great. But again, they have to have a lot of users, which they do, of course, and they have to be able to allow you to, to broaden your targeting. Now, depending on what your offer is, in my case, it's auto insurance in this example, um, the, uh, the traffic source also has to allow you to advertise the offer. So if you're doing mail enhancement or whatever it is, obviously you're gonna have a harder time if you're doing other products that aren't allowed then the, you have to consider that in your traffic plan. When you're going out hunting for $10,000 campaigns, don't pick these tra uh, offers like mail enhancement or anything like that if you don't know how to get multiple accounts or you don't know how to spend a massive amount of money on these traffic platforms that are going to ban it anyway. So my main focus is on lead gen, but I do sell some products, but in the lead gen space, you need to have a ton of good quality, okay? Quality traffic. So you can't go to push ad networks and, and expect to get real high quality finance leads. Push ads, I've done case studies inside Powerhouse Affiliate, they work better for me with credit card submit offers, okay? So you really need to consider your traffic source and the quality of the traffic. So this brings us to what are the best niches to focus on if you're going to try and hunt for these giant campaigns? Well, let's just say, state the obvious here, health, is probably one of the biggest ones. So diet, if you can run compliant diet campaigns on these giants, then you're going to make a lot of money. I actually did a case study inside Powerhouse Affiliate showing a compliant diet campaign on Facebook where we actually collected leads first 
and then we we monetize those leads by offering them products in the back end that is how people are getting by by spending a ton of money they're collecting leads building their email lists and then getting people to convert on the back end okay um, there are courses out there about that for two grand if you want to go do that or you can check out the case study inside powerhouse affiliate for 19 bucks you can go in and see that case study and show you the exact method on how to do that okay that's one example health you know um, not just diet but you have you know anything related to, to to feeling better around you know pain relief that's a good one and stuff like that next we, we're talking wealth so how to make money you've seen all those ads on your facebook feed i'm sure the people with their webinars and they're they're pitching their two thousand dollar high ticket products um they're they're making a lot of money doing that because they're collecting leads again in the front end and everybody wants to make money right now. Everybody's struggling, they wanna make money online and, and they're looking for that. So that is a big one. Or even finance in terms of, or sorry, wealth in terms of investing. Um, there's a lot of people looking for investment information as well. Next, we're talking finance, okay? So the one that I just talked about, auto insurance, you have refinance, you have debt, you have um, health insurance, life insurance, all of those are types of offers that work extremely well. Solar is another one. And just getting lead generation types of offers are, are, are easy to do. It's easy to do, but remember with lead gen, it's mostly US in our space at least. If you can find offers that have um, no restrictions in other countries, that would be awesome. There's a lot in the UK, check that out. And another one, love. Love and relationships is big. If you can get your ads approved, again, most people are doing the lead gen first and then monetizing in the back end. These are big. So health and wealth, uh, finance, love and relationships, those are the ones that you need to focus on if you want to, if you really want to scale your campaigns. As a recap, you need offers with mass appeal. You need a lot of cap. You need to understand the math behind what it takes to get to $10,000 a day. As you can see, it's not that um, hard to imagine that this is possible, especially when you have traffic sources like Facebook and Google with billions of people constantly on there every single day. Um, it's, it's really, the math, the math behind this is not that hard to understand, really. To get 20,000 clicks to a landing page is not hard in a day. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the right offers, the metrics, uh, under, understanding the metrics, having the ability to spend that money and having offers that convert with good EPC, okay? If you like this type of video, please comment, like, share, all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to my channel if you have any comments and if you have a sample of your $10,000 campaign, please post it down below. I'm sure everyone would love to see it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Hey there, Joey, okay. Dollars <laughs> a day easily, but because they have a big, massive uh, amount of. <sighs> yes. Okay, so today I'm going to focus.